What is a CPU? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. The CPU is often referred to as the brain of the computer, but actually it's a hardware component that performs the calculations and executes the instructions from different programs. There are many companies that manufacture CPUs, but the big ones are Intel, AMD, and Apple. When you have a CPU, it will look something a little bit like that. And there's these little pins at the bottom, and those pins fit into a socket called a ZIF socket or zero insertion force socket that's on the motherboard. Those blue things on the top, those are little fins that form part of what's called a heat sink. When the processor is working, it generates a lot of heat. So to protect the processor, we use a heat sink to distribute or transfer that heat away from the processor. There are many factors to take into consideration when looking at the CPU. The first one is the clock speed. The clock speed is the number of instructions that the CPU can execute per second. So if we were looking at an advert where they were advertising the CPU, that little part there with the gigahertz, 2.8, that is the clock speed. So clock speed is measured in gigahertz and that tells you how fast it can really do an instruction. But be careful because newer technology, newer CPUs can perform a little bit better than older ones. So although a newer CPU might have a slower number, it might be better than an older CPU that has a slightly higher gigahertz value. The other property to take into consideration is if it's multi-core. A core is a single physical processor, and some processors have lots of processors built in to one. So in this case, there's four times cores, or what could be called quad core. So that means each one of those cores can do their own individual instructions. That means it can do more tasks at the same time. And then you get hyper-threading. A thread is a small set of independent instructions. And with hyper-threading, it's a technology that makes a single core think that it's got multiple virtual cores so that it can run multiple instructions at the same time. So consider the clock speed, the multi-core, and the hyper-threading of your CPU. Now, if you are looking at Intel CPUs or Intel processors, you might see terms like Celeron and Pentium. But the newer CPUs have numbers like R3 or R5 or R7 or even R9. Now, the higher the number, normally the better the CPU or the faster or the more it can do. But be careful because an older R5 CPU might not be as good as a newer R3 because obviously technology improves all the time. So remember that whenever you are buying a computer and you want a very fast CPU. And that's all you need to know about central processing units. If there's a computer term we haven't covered yet, make sure to tell us about it by leaving a comment. Click on that subscribe button, leave a like, tell your friends about Mr. Long Computer Terms. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.